Uh, by the end of 2018, the plan is you will be the first man to unify all four belts and become the undisputed champion of the world. Potentially. That's the plan. Potentially, that's the plan. OK. That's the plan. But you, thank you, thank you. you've got two belts already. You've got three. Yeah. You, hang on, so... There's five. Oh, there's five. OK, so you've got three, so you need these extra two, and they're going to happen this year. We're now, working on it. Yeah, and I thought, right. hopefully, you are going to announce a fight soon, I think. Yeah. So is, who's the first one with? It was either out of the two belt holders. So let's say there's A, B, C, D, E. OK. Um, so on and so forth. So I got three of them, there's two more left. Yep. One's in America, one's in New Zealand. So I was looking at both options. America would have been phenomenal, because, you know, when I'm walking down the street, the lads are like, listen, mate, I need a reason to get to Vegas when you're going out there to fight. <laughs> <laughs> America would have been amazing, but we've had some difficulties, so um, we're looking to bring the other guy, Joseph Parker, who's a, a, a tidy champion there, he is there. He has one of the other belts. Can I just yeah, say... Course. That looks like it's going to be quite an easy fight. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely hope so. I de but you know what it is? You can't looks underestimate... Like King of Pies. <laughs> <laughs> What's his nickname? <laughs> Should I give him a nickname? <laughs> pie. The Pie. <laughs> no, I can't underestimate I mean, anyone. He must be a world-class athlete, but he doesn't look like one, does he? I mean... You can't underestimate... You know, the thing is with, with boxing, I think, you know, the things that you lack, you can make up for in power in the heavyweight division. Yeah. And there's not... Like, there's not one heavyweight that hasn't gone without getting dropped in their whole career. And that's what I've realised is that um, a lot of fighters have lost their titles through underestimating other athletes. Like, for instance, Lennox Lewis, when he was... He was filming, I think, Ocean's Eleven. Okay, or, yeah. And he lost his title because he wasn't focused. And no, no heavyweight champion is one heavyweight champion of the world. They're all two-time heavyweight champion, three-time, because of... The last thing they lose is the power in their punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't... Even though he looks like the pie-eater, <laughs> right. He'll probably pack in a wallop as well, so I'm going to be... I'm focused. I'm in training camp now. You know his secret weapon? Armpit hair. Look at that. <laughs> look, at, look at that. It looks like he's got cats under his hair. I'm going to put that in the contract. <laughs> shave, shave those armpits, man. <laughs> <laughs> or you can buy my Lynx can at Asda Tesco. <laughs> 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 OK, so, so uh, they peel him off the floor, they roll him up like a carpet and send him back to New Zealand. Yeah. Who, who's the American guy, then? Who's the next one you have to beat? He is Deontay Wilder and got a big mouth. Here he, as you can see, look at that. Look can at I just that. say, this is going to be harder. <laughs> You're doing them in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's interesting. So this is the plan next, and this is when the guys where I grew up can get to Vegas and have a good time and watch a bit of boxing as well. And um, this will be the fight that makes history. But it's interesting because let's say I've done the hard work, so I've managed to keep the four belts, and I've got to put everything on the line to bring them back home. So it's a real tough one. Yeah, because so what's the story? So you go into that match with four belts. Does he then have five if he beats you? Cor then he, he creates history. Oh, my God. This is the situation. Oh, yeah. well, good noise, everyone. Very good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, no, but that is... That's... We'll be in cinema soon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is a huge... Yeah, OK, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the way to make a movie part of the fight. That's... And, uh, um, but that's it, that's it. That's that the is... I imagine you'll be quite nervous that evening. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a lot, a lot. But uh, you're also... So you're doing the fighting, you're preparing for all of that, but you're also... You're doing some promoting now as well, which is unusual, isn't it, for people when they're still boxing to do it's promoting? true. I've always had the mindset... I don't know, I've always understood that athletes kind of come to the end of their careers and they say, OK, I'm starting up a management company, I want to guide younger athletes. Because I think it's the natural transition from athlete to what I'm going to do in retirement. But I always thought... It's always good to be two steps ahead of the game and kind of use the momentum while I'm competing to kind of guide and help athletes. So, yeah, yeah. like, um, I grew up in Watford, moved to London, so I'm a proud sponsor of my gym where I grew up, so all the kids that I support them. And now I've got two of my good friends who are with the management company, and um, Lawrence Okoli, Joshua Boatsi, who are fighting Fred Third. And it's kind of guiding them, giving them the best advice, and not only advice, they can bounce ideas off of me as well. It's just like an organic relationship. And I know that sometimes people want to see if the grass is greener, 
And as I said, come to me for advice. It's no problem. I know how the game goes. And if you ever want advice on where to go next, we can always guide you onto that as well. Yeah, yeah. And boxing now is like rock and roll. I mean, everybody <laughs> flocks with. But you've also mixed with uh, royalty. Prince Harry himself. What did he asked you to take part in his Radio 4 programme? Yeah, there's a picture. He asked oh, you to yeah. take um, part in his Radio 4 <laughs> programme. It was an honour, you know. Yeah. Um, was that before or after you hit him? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's recovering from the blow there. That's me smiling at the six security guards watching me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but real humble guy. Really yeah. cool guy.